Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Potionomics. Last time we left off, we talked to a bunch of people, didn't really do a lot of potion making. I know wild for a potion maker. Uh, and today, we're gonna make some stuff. Boogie Boozy. Good taste trait has more impact. Trend setting heiress Rosalie has endorsed tasty potions as the perfect chaser to take the edge off a shot of alcohol. Thank you. Celebrity Weather Witch, Sunny Drizzle, has momentarily diverted a supernatural storm system, allowing greater access to the Plains region. We gotta go back there. And Hunter's Festival. This holiday has grown beyond its original purpose and now honors all kinds of providers, from farmers and fishers to parents and caretakers. Increasing customers, hag haggle customers will start with sympathy, and increased value for tonics. Okay. Um, that's a lot. So, let's go over here. And look at my brew stuff. So we can bottle our greater sight enhancers. That I have a bunch of now, so... Ah, oh, but it had to be three stars or more. Yeah, that is right. So I made these, but I still couldn't get it to three stars. We still got some work to do. But at least I have some really, really good shit to sell. I managed to get it to two stars, but not three. Oh well, we can sell those for a pretty good amount at least. Um, so what do we want to work on? Um, okay, I can't make the stamina potions because I need more E. Um, I was looking at maybe making, uh, seeing if I could make the three star greater greater speed potions, but uh, I don't think I have enough D. Uh, if I go get some frog's legs, um, I, or some fulgurite ore, I think I can pull it off. So... Unfortunately for that, I do need money. So before we can go out today, I do need cash money. Uh, and yeah, how many um, of the other kinds of potions do I actually have? Like the ones I can give mint and stuff? Let's see, so I have a health potion, two mana potions. Of course, this health potion needs to be saved. Um, and one mana potion needs to be saved. So this is actually all I have. Um, I guess I'll sell some of these. Um, since I can't use them for anything else right now. So those can be sold. And then I can, of course, throw some stuff in here. The vending machine. Place push the vending machine to sell at a fixed 15% markup from its base price. I mean, I probably don't need these anymore, so I should just sell these, right? Yeah, let's just get rid of those. Uh, I think that's a pretty good call. So the vending machine can take those. Cool. Because it's kind of wasteful just to waste time actually selling those because they're not even worth a whole lot at this point. And I'm not really using them. I'd rather just have the cash money right now. So with that, um, I don't really know what I want to brew. Mm. Let's make a thunder tonic. So when I go out, I can give this to Mint. And Mint can make it pretty far into the plains because the plains we get boosted stuff from today. So it needs B and D. And I do have a fair amount of that. So I got the fulgurite ore and I have the glass ore. So now I just need a bunch of uh, C, which I could once again do that. It would give it a negative, but... Oh wait, no, is it? It's B and D, isn't it? Oh, damn it. Yeah, no. No toads like then. It's B. So the giant stool mushroom or the banshee's tongue. Ooh. I mean, I only have 48, so... Very stable. I get two common thunder tonics. I feel like I can do better though, but I need more D. Um, is there anything else I have in here that gives D? That of course does. Yeah, we don't have a lot of other good options for D, unfortunately. Yeah, it's really just this. So if I, like, put that in, it would take it up there, but they're unstable now. If I could get B up to good levels again... Uh... Let's go over here. So, B. Where's my, where's my best source of another B right now? Probably... Put one of these in. So that'll get us... Still unstable, yeah, because I have too much C in there. So yeah, the Toad's Leg can't go in. I might just have to make it with this. That gives me two of them. I wish I could tear it up again, but uh, I don't think I'm really going to be able to. I could put a Mandrake Root in there to make it slightly better. But there's not a ton 
I can do here. Okay, well, no, th there we go. That gives me three. Okay, that's good. I'll take that. I'll take that. And let's once again use a cactus here to make this brew faster. I do need to keep some of this because I still need to get my other brew slot. We'll, we'll brew that. We'll brew that. Okay. Okay. So, um, we got some good stuff coming from that. I do need to go back to the deck builder. So, we got a new card. Whose new card did I like? Muscle Memory. So, currently we have Reel Em In, which raises interest by 7, but costs 2. Let's take those out and put in Muscle Memory instead. I think that's just better, especially since I don't have Set Em Up in anymore. So, there we go. I'm happy with that. And... Yeah, with that... Let's go ahead and open up shop. And, uh, I don't have a shelf for enhancers, so... Not up early, I just haven't gone to bed. Okay. Build rapport. We'll definitely go ahead and start with that. So you're- you're gonna be sympathetic this entire time. Raise interest by eight. Increase price of potion. Yes. Beautiful. Keep your guard up. I don't really need armor, so I'm actually gonna pass on that. We're gonna be getting a pretty good amount of money today. Good, because I need... I need I need money. You can be very interested. Oh my god. Uh, gain shield. Press the attack. Okay, muscle memory is free. Boom. God, yeah, muscle memory is quite good. Um, that is not what I needed. Close it out. Damn it. Not what I needed at all. All right, let's end the turn. I want to see if I can get you to max interest here. Okay, something can't be rushed. It's fine. Uh, yes, Captivate. Yes, I like muscle memory. Just getting it and it's free. Craftsmanship, raise interest. Scheme. Uh... Ooh, I can reel him in twice. That'll get you up to max interest. Boom. Wonderful. Color me intrigued. Ha! Just as I'd intended. Beautiful. Well, I slipped on an owl feather. Okay. Well, we are making bank today. My god. Uh... I mean, this is better, even if I can't actually apply the sympathy here. It's better than reel them in. Let's, uh, go ahead and pass here. Expecting too much. Oh, shut up! Uh, draw one fewer cards. Ooh, that's not good. Build rapport. Good. Um, gain shield and apply another stack of sympathy. Okay, we're, we're not getting max for this, I don't think. Well, you only have three levels. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you only have three levels of hearts, so I can probably get you there. Raise interest. Yes. Raise interest some more. Uh-huh. Ends my turn. You're gonna reduce all interest gains. Ah, but you need 40 to get that extra. I don't think I'm gonna make it that high. Maybe, though. I mean, we might as well give it a shot, right? I've seen better. Screw you! You're a tough customer. 202, come on. Ooh, two muscle memories. Muscle memory. Muscle memory. Craftsmanship. And yeah, unfortunately I'm just gonna have to close it out now. Oh well. We we got a pretty good amount out of that. Beautiful. Alright, now we got one more. So a greater health in mana potion. Uh, I... I'm sorry, I don't know if I can pull that off in three days. I'm sorry. Didn't anticipate that, oh well. I love it, let's talk money. Okay. Yeah, I don't- I, I've got too much other stuff on my plate right now, I'm sorry. Um, you're just make, t making time go down faster. Let's at least stack another sympathy there, so I'll have that for next round. Might need a note from you, my boss is going to wonder where I've been all this time. Rude. Very rude. Gotta get this greater side enhancer up there. Okay, um... I am not getting good cards. At all. Let's see, you're gonna stress me out, right? Yes. So, let's gain some shield. Alright, I'm not gonna be able to do much next round, but hopefully we can at least... Sister's boyfriend's cousin said he brought a dud here. Sort of a tool, though. 
<laughs> sort of a tool. Increase my stress. Ooh, a lot. Um, I would rather captivate. And then let's just do... Let's draw three cards. Okay, good. That's what I wanted. Beautiful. So I slide a, a craftsmanship. Craftsmanship. And slide of hand. There you are. Beautiful. Can't wait to try it. Okay, that's a pretty good amount of cash. Beautiful. Wonderful, actually. And I got 141 from the things sold in the vending machine. Handy. Okay, so my custom order is due today, which means I need more... It was E for that, right? And my brew has... Oh, I don't have... I can look at my recipe book up there. Actually. Yeah, so that, that has one more time period, so I can leave the shop. Um... So what do you got? So... We need E. Specifically. It's gonna be really hard to get this, but salt and pepper, yeah, we heard about you last time. So, salt and pepper's wharf. Let's go see salt and pepper. Two new characters, and they are kitties, that's why I said I would like them. I think this is the right place. Avast and such, who goes there? Oh, hi, I'm Sylvia. I was looking for salt and pepper, guessing it's you too. What gave it away? <laughs> I'm, going, I'm totally gonna give them just hardcore pirate voices. I love this music. Welcome to our Emporium, Sylvia. Yeah, Emporium, otherwise known as that stack of crates at the end of the dock. Now, can we interest you in a treasure chest? We find them all over the place. And each one's guaranteed to contain contents. I'll consider it, but I was hoping to get to know you first. Get to know us? Why is that exactly? Are you undercover for the town guard? If you are, you have to tell us. It's the law. You're asking me if I'm a cop? No, I'm not a cop. What? No? I'm just curious. Oh, yeah. You know what they say about curiosity. That it killed the cat? What? No, jeez. What kind of expression is that? Curiosity is annoying, that's what they say. Be nice, Salt. I'm being nice. Aren't I being nice? Uh... Nice is no fun. Nice is no fun. I can handle a bit of attitude. Well, all right then. Rare imports and attitude. You came to the right place. Between you and me, lady, don't go tugging Pepper's tail or anything. He's a beast, that one. He looks so cuddly. He looks so cuddly. How dangerous could he be? Yeah, you want to cuddle? Go ahead. Last guy who tried ha lost half a nose, though. Anyway, Pepper and I, we make a good team. When he goes on the attack, I watch our flank. When I've got my claws out, he's got my back. You never know what you're gonna get till you get it. Yar har har. Strike or strike later. Choose one. Raise interest by five or gain a le uh, gain five shield. Okay, so it's like one of those. Yeah, you can choose what you want to do. Card. Interesting. The solo operation. I'll have to learn both tactics. Hey, versatility is not a bad thing. Just talk to yourself. If you can help it, it makes people uncomfortable. Anyway, we should wrap this up. Ships won't run itself. Pepper gets cranky if mealtime's late. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. <laughs> this voice doesn't fit them at all. <laughs> but I kinda love it. I kinda love it. It feels like it kinda fits salt, but you seem much more wholesome. Oh my god, your ear! Your poor ear! This is amazing. Purchase a chest with a random set of ingredients, fuel, and glamours. We got loot boxes. Large treasure chest. The chest has a high chance of yielding a rare item. Limit of one treasure purchase per day. Seller assumes no responsibility for mimic attacks. Interesting. Very, very interesting. I, I think we're gonna leave this for now because I kinda have cash that I want to spend on other things. So I don't wanna I don't wanna get loot boxes. Meow for now. <laughs> I don't care. This is the voice I'm going with. Maybe we'll have to workshop peppers, but salts is perfect. Yar har har. Uh, alrighty. What do we got? So, I, d I did need more D, but, um... Oh shit, that's right, I used the glass ore that I needed, didn't I? Oh wait, no, we gave it to you yesterday, and then I had one more left. That is right. So, I can get more of these. Um... I would like more glass ore. The squid vine gives E. But this is a problem. I don't really have a lot of sources of E. There's the Thunderbird Feather. 
The Body Snatcher's Slowed Skin. A Bargast Canine. Yeah, the E is Jelly Blossoms. That's what I need. Two of those, please. And then, um, I can get the Glass Ore, yes. Give me some of those. A lot of those, actually. Um, and I think I'll take some of the frog's legs, too. Or one of them, rather. Um, yeah. Okay, so we have a bunch of that. Ooh, the, oh yeah, the ore is cheap. Okay, give me some of the ore, too. My god. And then the, the shroom is cheap as well. The shrooms. Uh, I'm gonna spend, like, all of my money here. Give me, give me five. Okay. I know we got other upgrades I need to get, but this was needed. This was sorely, sorely needed. Um... Alright, look at you. Fiscally responsible. Thank you. Um, alright, so what do we want to do? What else do I want to do? Go see you, probably. Because I can get some good stuff. Quest of success, and I can grab my stuff. Uh, wow. Oh yeah, yeah, that was it. That was all I got. <laughs> I forgot, I was like, wow, that sucks. But no, that, that's all I asked for, actually. Spider's Bait Diamond. Ocean Coast Abyssalite. And... The Electrocution Eel again. Well, we already have one of those. I think I want the Abyssalite in one of these. So... Beautiful. I, I've spent, like, all of my money that I just got. Um... Mint. I... I need the, the, the potions that I have sitting at home to properly do something with you, so... I will be sending you on a quest, don't you worry about that. But, um, yeah. I need the electric potion thing. Oh, I don't have the money anyway. Yep, because it's 200 to go out there. Well, let's go see Saffron. <sighs> God, there's so much to keep track of and so much to do. Hello, Saffron. Would you like a gift? Generosity humbles me. What a thoughtful present, thank you! Okay, so we can rank up with you now. Good. Um, do want some of these. I feel like I would rather the wood. I feel like I would rather the wood. The wood's technically more efficient for buying if I'm just going to use it for, um, making potions go faster, so... Yeah, I need it. I need it. I need it. I really do. And now I'm poor again. So I went to see Mint, I don't want to buy one of your chests, I went to see Baptiste, I can't afford any Aluna stuff, I can't afford any Roxanne stuff, I can't afford any of Muktuk stuff. <laughs> okay. So we're going back. Bye, Saffron. It was nice talking to you. Okay, Brew. So we got- we got some things now. Bottle. And the tonics are worth more today. And I- I can swap out my shelf for the thing that I need. Okay, so... I think I'll hold off on the competition potions for right now. We gotta get a stamina potion done stat. So A and E. So I do have more E sources now because I bought, uh... These. So, I got a Jelly Blossom. Boom. Alright. And I'm gonna need to buy more of these. But for right now, I need this. Okay, and it's... These- these do need the good... That one good trait. Yeah. Yes, they do. That's another thing to keep in mind. I have to have that. So... Do I have an A? That has that? Oh shit, we might- we might be boned. I need something that has that. I suppose I could put something else in it. Like desert metal. I could just throw a desert metal in even though it doesn't call for it. Which is gonna screw the potion up slightly, but I don't have an A that has that. Yeah, I have B's that have that, but not an A. Okay. Well, one desert metal. Minor shadow tonic. Three points of shadow damage. Interesting. Okay, so now I just need... A. But I can't have any of the other positive effects, I don't believe. So, the bogey berries, I guess. There we go. A common stamina potion. Minimum quality common. Uh, yep, and it has to have that, which it's going to. 
Chance of potion losing a star because we're unstable. Yeah, um, that is a problem. Um, don't get me wrong, that's a problem. I would prefer to not lose a star. But I, uh, don't really have another good source of A to throw in here. Um, that would help even me out, I don't think. And I really don't want to use another Jelly Blossom. Like, if I did that and then used another one of these, what would that put me at? Okay, now it's stable. We're close to a tier up. Which I'm kind of tempted to do. Um, unfortunately, once again, I'm, I'm running out of E. Do I have, like, a source of... This is C and E. Do I have, like, A and E? I don't think I do. E is just so hard to come by. A and D. Yeah, I don't have another... I don't have a good source of, like, A and E. It could be A, B, and E. But no, that... Nope, I don't have anything like that. Okay, so this is just gonna have to be good enough. Um... Yeah, I, I mean, I could try to put, like, uh... What do, what do you do to the potion? It's unstable, so it has a chance of losing a star on completion. But... Huh. But we get three of them now. We get three greater stamina potions. And I could put a little bit more A in there. So this all has... No effects, right? Yeah, okay. So we're just getting the boost from the from the desert metal there that I need. So if I increase the A a little bit more, we might be able to make this work. Let's see, what what kind of uh, A boost could I put in here? I just got to make sure I don't screw up the uh, the thing. What does that do for me? Too unstable. Yeah, that's what I thought. A, B, and D. What does that do? Too unstable, yeah. I just need like 10 A to throw in here. But I don't really have a good source of that. Yeah. Okay, okay, we're just gonna have to bottle it like that. If it loses one star, it's still gonna be fine, so. And I'm gonna have to put a lot of wood in here to make this come out in time. Two. Okay, so in two cycles, I'll be able to get back to the house. Yes, I'll be able to I'll be able to get back and turn that in before the day ends. So good. I mean, it's it sucks, but this is what I had to do to get this done, and I'm getting 700 for this. So it's incredibly worth it. Immensely so. Um so let's arrange some potions here. Okay, so I do have... We need to swap out my shelf. Because I have the tonic one I can put out. So... Bone wastes. There we go. Gotta optimize as much as I can here. I obviously need to keep a thunder tonic. Um, I also have these great, this other greater sight enhancer I could get rid of. Yeah, let's do that. Bye-bye. Cool. Yeah, I'm just making sure everything else is good over here. All right, yeah. So we can go ahead and open up shop now. I think so. And this will put me the two cycles I need for my bruise to finish. And then, yes, all will be well. Wonderful. Let's go. Whew. It was a lot going on. I need to get home before I miss the cricket singing. An eye on something like this. Oh, what a shit hand. And you're going to be blocking the next debuff. Oh, that was awful. That hand was terrible. Won't be rushed into a decision. Okay. Okay, so you're going to block the next debuff I give you. Um. So, let's raise the price. Beautiful muscle memory. Yes. Believe me, you need this thunder tonic. You never know when you're going to get struck by lightning. Are we in this together? Serenity, don't fail me now! Okay. Uh, I could build a rapport or captivate. I think I would rather build the rapport and then get the captivate for the for the one patience increase. Wonderful. And then draw cards. 
Oh, uh, but the build rapport, yeah, you blocked the next debuff anyway. Um... Let's see... Could draw some more cards. Draw more cards? Okay. That... I'll take that, I guess. So, I could... Sympathy... Craftsmanship... And then we're good. Close the deal. Yep, I don't have a I don't have a closer, so that's just gonna have to be what we do. Okay. I hope the heroes make use, blah blah blah. I will captivate you. And I will scheme. And I will uh let's see, you already have sympathy, but I would like to put more sympathy on you, so let's let's keep that stack going. Craftsmanship and muscle memory. End my turn. And I end my turn. No, you're not leaving without this thunder tonic. Oh, I called it a thunder potion earlier. Whoops. Boom. They're gonna lower the price of it. I don't want you doing that. Uh, gain shield. I don't need to gain shield. Raising interest by more would be good, but let's just end the turn. Erg. Bit rough around the edges, isn't it? Damn you. Alright, uh, I can build a rapport with you. And do muscle memory. Yeah, I mean that's probably my best call. So build rapport. Muscle memory. I unfortunately don't have a closer, so we're just gonna have to close the deal this way. No refunds. Beautiful, beautiful. Alright, you're the professional, so... You come with armor already, and you only have two interest slots, so it takes a lot of work to get you where I want you to be. You're also busy! Oh god, this... Okay, I'm, I'm thinking I'm probably gonna get mostly the price. Here. Leaning to no, if I'm honest. What? Screw you! Uh-uh! Don't be doing that. Um... So I can craft some ship. Reel you in, and then close it out. Boom. So that'll get you to very interested. 200, I'll take it. Okay. Good, good. We got some bonk. And I'm about to have even more bonk. Beautiful. Give me that bonk. It's unstable, but we still got a one star, three one star stamina potions. Good. Good. And now I can complete my stupid order. Let's do that first, so I don't forget. Custom order. Turn in. Here. Oh, I gotta get my, uh... I get my health potion from over here. I like putting them over there so I don't actually accidentally use them. <laughs> I think it's a handy way to make sure I don't make a mistake. Alrighty, so... Boom. Boom. And yeah, I made you a greater one. You just wanted a common. But, whatever. I was trying to get as best as I could out of that. So, ship it! Send for delivery. 700! I'm rich! I have ultimate cosmic power. Okay, this is beautiful. So, what do I want to make now? Um, that is the question. Alright, the speed potion is C and D, and I think I can actually pull that off now. Um, so let's put some Fulgurite ore in there. Two of those. I have the Sack of Composite Slime to get me to that. Now, I also have Glass Ore that I could throw in as well if I need it. But we need more C. Need more C. Oh yeah, the Frog Legs give... Ooh. Frog Leg? Frog Leg. Okay, that almost evens them out. Now I'm at greater speed potions. And I still have enough room for a few more things here. So, what other C and D do we have? Um, running out of options for C. Although I do have the sack of hive slime. Let's use that. And then I could put this in for that. Boom, now we're getting three. I have enough space for one more thing. I don't have any really cheap C, or I would throw... That in. I guess I have this. Okay, and that gives me four. Okay, beautiful. And it's still very stable. 
It's going to take nine, though? Okay, and it has a chance of getting an extra star, so this is going to be what I need here. Okay, five is better. Okay, so that's one of my competition potions knocked out there. Uh, so it has it has two chances, though. Oh, no, no, it, no, it gains one additional star on completion. So, yeah, it is going to be three. It is going to be good enough. Beautiful. Through that. All right, and now I have a ton... An absolute ton, a plethora of cash money. So, what do I want to do now? I have more money, I could go travel. I mean, we might as well use this time, right? Of course, I could sleep and get rid of my stress. Which might also be a good call. Um, because I do have a fair bit of stress. I could do so much if I went out right now, though. Because I have the potions I need. Or no, I did give up my one of my health potions. I have a mana potion and I have this thunder tonic. But I feel like I need a health potion to properly send mint out on a good adventure. So we, we need to make some more health potions. For sure. Uh, Let's travel. Let's not worry about my stress right now. I can get rid of my stress a little bit more tomorrow. But we can buy some things and do stuff right now, so... Got a little bit of everything... Um, so... Sacks of slime... Not really interested in it. It'd be good to give to you, of course, but... B, C, and D. Phoenix tier. And then this is the B... That's D and E. Is D and E something that I need? Oh yeah, this stuff is cheap. The moat of mana, the molted feather... Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, let's get some of this. The bogey berry is quite good. Give me a bunch of bogey berry. This has some E, so I might need that. Um, I can buy the rest of this fungus that's pretty good. That's all of the... Let's get the rest of this glass ore. And yeah, I need more E for sure. Like the squid vine is okay. These bogey berries are just too cheap not to buy them all. And the Bargast Canine, I mean, I can get that. B and E. And then, yeah, I don't know if I need the Body Snatcher. But, well, we're gonna leave it, we're gonna leave it there for now. Um, so... Next, I want to go see Saffron. I have so much money. That's kind of a nuts amount of money. Uh, Fuel. I would like to buy... Um, give me all of this. And give me all of this. Thank you. Okay, and carpentry. So, level two brewing area, additional cauldron available, and I can have another cauldron in the basement. Ah, oh, but I need three wood. So we're gonna have to follow up on this tomorrow. I used all of my wood. That's fine. We can follow up on that tomorrow. Muktuk, what do you got? I gotta also make sure I don't spend all my cash. May I be of service? Yes, you can be. Um, so craft... Shelves. So I need a shelf for, like, the enhancers. Bone Waste Showcase. 10% price increase. Yeah, I haven't gotten the new showcases. Yeah, I have one of the... Uh, or no, 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 I need something before I can make that. I can make this, though. The Bone Waste Showcase, 5% additional for tonics. How much does that cost? 170? And this costs 270. And this has... yeah... Hmm... 10% price increase. That's pretty good! Uh, I'm kinda worried about my money situation here, but I think I'll get this. I'm still gonna have enough to get the stuff I want tomorrow. So... Alright, let's, uh, get back then. Whew, okay. And, uh, I need to get this video done, and it's already 37 minutes, so we gotta go. Steering clear of that vending machine's teeth. Yes, you should. Okay, money is being made. Cash money is being obtained. 
Feeling overwhelmed when brewing? Check the recipe book. All right, gone to ruins. Uh, ore costs more, flower costs less, fungus costs less. Uh, Fedora has led the Heroes Guild to an overgrown ruin rich with flowers, fungi, and ore. At uh, increased value for fire tonics, the Eye of the Endless Storm stands a tower. At the base of that tower sits a long sealed bunker. Within that bunker, who can say? So fire tonics, silence cures, and the Storm Plains has stronger monsters and better loot. Uh, this holiday has grown beyond its original purpose and now honors all kinds of providers, so yeah, that's still going on as well. Five days until the competition. Have you started crafting your winning potions? Yes. Yes, I have. Okay, and we slept, so we did get rid of a good amount of our stress. So yeah, it would have been worth it to get the extra 2% stress down. So. Uh, brew. That's still going, I do believe. Yeah, two more for the four greater speed potions, so I should probably leave. Uh, although I do need to go ahead and put up my new thingy. My new display shelf. 10% price increase. So that's just throughout the shop, right? Like, all shops, all, all potions in the shop are now 10% more, because they can't buy this off the, off this display shelf, so it wouldn't make sense for it just to increase the price of this one. Boom. Beautiful. I'm happy with that. Alrighty, and... Speed Potion is what I'm going to be selling next, so let's go ahead and put that down as well. Alright, good. And, uh, yeah, so we need to... I could either open the shop... Or... Um... I could either open the shop, or I could go out. I think I'm going to go out. Allows your hero to retrieve six additional pieces of loot. Oh damn, that's really good. Uh, but let's go out. Let's let's travel. We got stuff to do. So, Saffron, I have a date with you. I have a date with you. The trees told me to expect you, did they? All right. Uh, oh yeah, I need to buy wood. So we needed what three? Which is good. I planned for this. Boom. We we're gonna have like no money left. Additional cauldron. What's the basement one cost? It just costs more, but you don't need these resources. Okay. One upgrade is available per day. An additional cauldron. I'm eager to start on this. I'm eager to have it. All right. I'm eager to have it. So I can rank up with you. I don't have a lot of money to do much else at the moment. I do believe I need health potions before I can send you out, which means I need my current potions to finish. But I can go and send you out some point. Let's go check on you, because you have stuff for me. I actually remember, did I not check with you yesterday? Or, oh wait, no, I placed the order yes yesterday was so long, I got... Yeah. I got, uh, confused there for a second. It was a long day. A salt watermelon. That is D. I do need more sources of D. Give me one. And I don't care about bogey berries. So thank you. It's just good to come here and grab all the ones I don't have yet. So we do need to hang out with someone to make two cycles pass. So... Um... Saffron we can hang out with. If I have gifts I can give to people, I should do that too. Oh, I should have given one to you. I have flowers. Expand. So here you are with these two things. There's some another source of E. Of course, the purple one is the best one. No, the the most rare one, because purple is the best. This is pretty cool. You're welcome. Alrighty, so let's go back to you and give you your stupid flower. I do have- I am having a hard time figuring out what Mint likes. I mean, I imagine each- I imagine there's not a lot of overlap between what the characters like. Each of them like a very specific thing. Um, so I just gotta find what it is Mint wants. You liked- you- you, you came there and baked cookies. Maybe you like, like, food? Do I have, like, something that would qualify as food? I mean, fungus, plant, fish. I mean, yeah, I have a bunch of different types of food. I tried giving you a fish, though. You didn't care about that. Um, mineral? The ores and minerals seems very much, um... Muktuk's, uh... 
area bone, maybe? I don't want to get rid of one of my few sources of E, though. Golem eye diamonds? You like you like diamonds? No such thing as a bad friend. Damn it! I think I tried to give you a gem before. I tried to give you a pearl. We'll figure you out. We'll figure you out. Everyone else is pretty. I bet you might like gems and stuff. Yeah. Let's go see if we can uh, get some things about Roxanne. Because currently what I have in my notes is Baptiste Flowers, Saffron Root, Muktuk, or Quinn Slime. So we know those. You would probably like shiny things. Like, um... Specifically gems, I feel. So, if I don't have a shiny, I don't think you're gonna want it. Unless you would want, like, flesh or something. Or bone? That's a f That's flesh. Those are, once again, my sources of E. Raven Shadow. Oh no, you probably like Essence, don't you? Essence? How thoughtful. Okay, you took it. Okay. Okay. So Roxanne will take Essence, although it's not what you love. I could hang out with you again, Queen. Let's go see Luna. Good luck, you'll need it. I know. Don't need to rub it in. Okay. Gift. Um, you want something that's probably worth a lot. Um, yeah, I would guess, like, gems or something for you. Okay, what do you think about Golemite? It, it's a, a mineral. Pretty neat. Okay, you're okay with it. So, Luna. Okay, Roxanne. Okay with Essence. And Luna is okay with mineral. All right, I need to find the things you love, though. I tried bugs, I tried that. Okay, and salt and pepper, I don't really need to do anything with. Muktuk, nothing. Quinn, nothing. Saffron, we already put our order in with you. So yeah, now it's just choosing who I want to hang out with. Let's hang out with Queen. Queen seems like she has some pretty good cards. Step into my parlor. Rank up. Yeah. Alrighty. Business is booming, Sylvia. So much so that this little supply run has proven necessary. I'm perilously low on gemstones, so keep an eye out for all that glitters. Gemstones, so yeah, you might like gems, like I thought. Roxanne approaches a vendor stall that has cheap jewelry laid out on display. Merchant seems wary of Roxanne. He watches her closely, following her around the stall. Sylvia gets the impression that word has spread about Roxanne's potions con. She's not especially welcome in the marketplace. Roxanne, however, keeps her cool. She giggles and blushes and touches the merchant's arm slightly. A minute later, she's made her purchase. The merchant waves warmly after her as she exits the stall. There, success. I should have everything I need. Even threw in a free pair of earrings. I'll have to remove the casing, but the stones will be of use. How did you do that? You warmed up faster than ramen on a fire rune. I only turned on the charm a little, batted my lashes, laughed at his jokes. It works every time, whether you're buying or selling. Disarm. Remove customer shield. Interesting. Okay, I'm not above trying that. And hey, speaking of flattery, I gotta say. I'm impressed. You're doing good work, Roxanne. I'm glad it's paying off. Yes, I've made strides in a short time, and to think I've done it all on my own. Well, I'm sort of helping. And with such humility. Yeah, you're a force of nature. You're a force of nature. Totally unstoppable. Taking some of my advice to heart, I see. Careful not to lay it on too thick, though. Yeah, I should have said the middle one. I went a little bit too hard. So what's next for you? You gotta size up your... You gotta si seize on your momentum, right? Have you thought about advertising? Oh no, I'm afraid that would be a grave mistake. This little operation of mine isn't entirely legal, after all. Wait, what? Roxanne, you told me you were leg going legit. I told you I was making use of my legitimate talents, and that's true. But this town and all its rules, it's positively tedious to do anything by the book. It's no wonder I became a con artist, and you know, I've run some pretty marvelous rackets over the years. Tell me more. Potions Con wasn't your first? Far from it. I cut my teeth several years ago on a pyramid scheme. A literal pyramid scheme, mind you. We claimed to be erecting one in the heart of the capital city. Investors were lining up. When that racket got too hot, I set up in another town and read fortunes for a while. I traced the lines of my clients' palms, pouring honey in their ears. 
while helping myself to the contents of their pockets. I'm quite dexterous with the tail, you know. Kinky. By the time anyone caught on, I'd moved on to card games, counterfeiting. Even a bit of light blackmail to keep things interesting. I'm going to have a heart attack. You're... You're some kind of criminal mastermind. Why, thank you. But I'm telling you, Sylvia, I've reformed. I'm barely doing anything wrong this time. However, to operate a business in this town, you're required to secure a business license. I know all about it. It's not really such a hassle. Easy for you to say. You were able to take the shortcut. Anyone with a degree from an accredited college is automatically issued a license to operate a business here. It's all part of some initiative to attract so-called talented people to Rafta. Everyone knows you recently obtained your degree. You tend to bring it up every five minutes. I'm not sure that's true. Whereas I never had that particular opportunity. Alright, so the shortcut isn't an option for you. What's the normal procedure you like? Yeah, you didn't have the opportunity. I mean, that's fair. Well, I'd have to pay a fee. Submit some paperwork. And pass an exam of some sort. That all? Doesn't sound so bad. Are you certain? It sounds all perfectly tedious to me. Anyway, what's the point? If I get caught cutting corners, I'll just move on to the next racket. Can't be on the move forever. I don't want you to leave. Yeah! I don't want you to leave, Roxanne. Get in to enjoy your company. I knew you'd get attached, but so quickly? You have a point, though. It'd be interesting to see what might develop in my life. If I weren't first to pull up the stakes and move on every few months. Alright, I'll do it. I'll get my license and I'll look good doing it. Should probably warn you. Nobody looks good in their license photo. Nonsense. The, tri the trick is to elongate your neck, smile with your eyes, and threaten the photographer with bodily harm. Yeah, that would probably work. Alright, later, queen. So, uh, let's get back. Cool, cool, cool. And I can hang out with Saffron, too, when I have some time. So, my stuff should be done now. So we can hit this up. God, I gotta fast forward this. Jeez. We gotta move. Greater speed potion does have a negative effect, but we are done with the speed potion. Wonderful. I'm going to put that on my thing so I don't use it. Range potion. Put there. And reduces the time required to complete the current adventure by three time slots is what that does. Cool. Alright, so we are done. There. Oh wait, I put that in the wrong spot. Yeesh. Over there. Yeah. Put it, put it, uh, right there, and then... I need a potion to put in the other spot here. Put the greater stamina potion there. There we go. Okay, and then the rest of these, I can sell. So... yeah. 5% increase, additional 3% for potions. Beautiful. Okay, so I have all that going. Let's brew. I'm not particularly interested in the new card I got from uh, Roxanne, so... Okay, um... What could I do now? I probably need health potions, quite frankly. If I want to send Mint out like I would like to do. Hunter's Festival, because yeah, the Storm Cellar is still active. So... The Storm Plains have stronger monsters and better loot. So I need better health potions. So... Don't I have an A and B thing? Like a really good A and B thing? I thought I did. Uh, I must be insane. Yep, I must be insane. Okay, so... We're just gonna use bogey berries, because I have a ton of those. And... Don't I have a 30 for B? 30 for B. Uh, I have a 40 for B. I could just use both of these. They'd be negative po- they'd have the negative uh, effects or whatever on them, but they'd be really good potions. Yeah. Greater. So, yeah, I can make two greater health potions. Uh, and yeah, now I've filled up the thing. So, only three of them, though? Not super crazy about only three of them. I will be real. Yeah. Can I get some... So, how does the uh, extra ones you get actually work? It's like, when you get to certain tiers... And I don't know if the negative effects impact that at all. 
I don't believe they do, but let's let's try just uh, the bogey berries. So we put two of those in, and then I have enough to put in a bunch of uh, B. Fungus, fungus, fungus. Yeah, see. So the negative the negative effects does has a does have a pretty significant impact on it. Um, and I could throw in like one of those. There, now we get four. It has the chance of getting an uh, additional star. Good. That is what I want. And that cuts the time pretty significantly. There we go. I wish I had some wood to put here instead of a mushroom, but I need these things done fast. So, cool. Pretty good uh, health potions there. Go ahead and brew them. Alright. So now that we've done that... Uh, I can open shop, which is going to take two cycles, and then when I open the shop, I can leave with my health potion, send mint on a good thing, and we'll be good. On a good, uh, adventure. So, Liam, so pleased to see you again. Save the trees. A uh, greater potion cure. Um, and it has to have that. Uh... Sure. I will try. You have my gratitude. Had an eye out for something like this. All right, so let's let's speed through these because uh, this episode's getting long, and I got other stuff to record. And I'm running out of time here, so uh, boom, boom, probably that, and that, and you know what? Let's reel you in too. Like I said, I'm taking this fast, and I'm gonna get some stress here, but that's fine. Are we in this together? Stop doing that, Saffron. I will max you out and you will like it. Uh, sympathy, reel them in, and I'm gonna have to slide a hand it. Here we go. Worth every coin, 314. Just stub my toe. I can't, uh, what the fire shows is. Uh, they're just commons. It's 385. That's a lot to keep track of, though. I do have two cauldrons now, however. I, for I forgot. Yeah, I gotta put my other cauldron down. Jesus. Or, oh wait. No, that's not done yet, right? Or is it? How much is this one? It's probably more than I want to spend. I can't... I... I... Did I get that today? Yeah, I got that. I ordered it today. So it's not gonna be finished until tomorrow, right? Oh my god. There's so much logistics to keep track of. Uh-huh, you're gonna stress me out. And just to survive out there, but sure, make a profit. Okay, yeah, I mean that... Yeah, that hurts my feelings. Um, scheme. Captivate. Muscle memory. Just gonna have to reel you in. What is this you're doing? Reduce interest applied. Yeah. Damn it. Could just no. Getting more stressed. I don't think it's enough to keep me alive out there. Well, it just makes you complete it faster. It's just a speed potion, friend. Okay, good. I got sleight of hand. I did want that. Um, so let's do that. Reel you in. Craftsmanship, and then sleight of hand. Beautiful. And that'll make you ignore the uh, the thing. All right then, can I help you? Together we can make a difference. I'm sorry, friend, I got too much other stuff going on. I hate to break it to you. All right, craftsmanship. In my turn. Yes, yes. I wish I knew your trade secrets. Rude. I don't give out the Krabby Patty secret formula to just anybody that walks in, I'll have you know. Uh, I mean, I need the shield. I am getting pretty stressed here. Erg. You can see the care you put into this. Don't you want it to go to someone who can appreciate it? Oh, don't you do that. Uh-uh. Okay. Scheme. Alright. Uh, didn't really get a lot of what I needed, I'll be honest. So, I'm just gonna have to... Build rapport and close it out. There we go. 289 is pretty good. That's all of them. 
Oof. Alright. Um, so yeah, my extra cauldron space. Yeah, it is there. So I do need to put something- I need to fill those in. Let's put the mud pack cauldron there. There we go. So yeah, I, I didn't even- I completely forgot, so that is done now. So I could have used that time a little bit more efficient, efficiently. Whoopsie. So how did I actually switch to my other cauldron here? Um... Bottle. Okay, I got some greater health potions, so... Alright, what do we want to... What do we want to toss in here? Yeah, how do I use the... I have two cauldrons, but how do I swap between them? Like, once I'm actually, you know, brewing. I must be missing something here. Okay, let's see what we want to make. Greater sight enhancers, maybe? A, B, and C. Yeah, I might be able to pull that off. A, B, and C. Um, I do have the warg pheromones, which are pretty good for that. And then... Yeah, we might be able to pull that off. So, warg pheromones. Now we need B. I need some B. Giant stool. Yes. Now I need more A and C. So... It's A, B, and D. Here's B and C. But I already have a bunch of B. Let's take one of those out and put in more of these. Good. Yeah, we're still... The balance is still way too unstable. Now I just need more A, though. Like these. Boom. It does need to be greater, though, and it needs to be at least three stars. Okay. Um, I managed to get this. Greater Sight Enhancer. Potion gains two additional stars on completion with the chance of gaining a bonus star. We have a lot of negative effects on it, but I think that's good enough to pull off what I want to pull off here, so... I just had to use some different things. So... yeah, that looks good to me. I don't really need to put the cactus in there. So yeah, we have River Calamari, the Dwarf Kraken, Warg Pheromones, a Rotfly Cocoon, some Sacks of Hive Slimes, and the Banshee's Bloody Tongue. So I think that's going to be good enough to get me where I need to be there. Okay. But how do I swap to this? Okay, I click there, and then I can go here. That's how it works. Okay. How about with this one, we just make some mana potions? I don't have a lot of B and C, though. These would work, I suppose. Yeah. The figment palms. But I now I need a bunch of C. What's my best source of... I'm actually really out of C. Um, it's becoming a bit of a struggle to keep up with C, because I don't have a lot of slime. But I have these rotfly cocoons, so I guess that's what we're going to be using. Three common mana potions. I mean, it's something. I can't even really fit much more in here. And it is perfect, so it has a chance of getting two stars. Yeah, if only I could... yeah. I don't think there's anything better to do here, really. Unless I... Eh. Let's see, this gives B and C. Yeah, but that's the only way I can get the C as high as I want. Well, let's just brew it like that. I'm not gonna worry about it too much. There we go. Now at least we have two things brewing in our pots. That I love to see. So... Custom orders we're looking at... I still need a greater mana potion for you. You need potion cures, and you need common fire tonic and sight enhancer. Which I think I had some common sight enhancers, but I sold them because I thought the game curve was getting past them, so I wouldn't need them anymore. Yeah. Oh well, let's go out, and I can set up some things with mint, and then we can get home. Whew, all over the place this episode. Where should I go today? You are going to the Storm Plains. And you have a Thunder Tonic. Oh, these things are scary. Um, and you have a Common Mana Potion. And Greater Health Potion. How far does that get you? I was here to receive six additional pieces of loot. That gets you right there. 
Oh, you just barely can't make it, so you gotta have that too to get that far. If only you had the mana to get a little bit further. But I guess that's good enough. Yeah, if only I had like a better mana potion. I think that's worth it though. So yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. I'll report back ASAP. Thank you. Okay, and I need ingredients. Oh my god, there's so much to do. This video is so long. Meet again. I got a bit of everything. Um, I can buy some more flowers for Baptiste. Um, so we need C. We need a we need a lot of C. Oh, these are cheap. Yes, give me those. More source of E. I, the work pheromones are quite good too. Give me some of those. Um, sack of hive slime might be what I'm buying here. Phoenix tier is pretty good too. Or this trihorn. Um, some more of those could be good as well. The hallucinatory shroom. Yeah, give me the give me the shrooms. That's some C. And this is C and D. Yes, the ore is more expensive, so I'm not gonna buy that actually. Buy some more fungus though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's uh maybe buy some of that. Yeah. Mm. Erm. I think I'll take some more of these hive slimes. And I think there we're good. The jelly blossom is the only one I have access to that is just E. And unfortunately you never have a ton of them in stock. Alright, let's go see what Baptiste has. I can also give him a flower. The dork. Here you go. Oh, you're spoiled enough. Oh yeah, I've already seen you today. That's right. Um, salt and pepper. I wonder what they like. Shiny things? They're pirates. Uh, let's go to Muktuk and buy some stuff, I guess. I could also upgrade stuff. Shells. Yeah, increase the potion capacity for the bone shelf. Eh. I, I could just buy the better one. Which I think is a better use of my time. This new cauldron, the shadow cauldron, is also way better than my mud pack cauldron, so I might... I think we should probably upgrade to that as well. But these would just straight up give me more money when I'm selling stuff. So... Additional 10% price increase, 5% extra for potions. Currently I have... Yeah, that would give me a pretty good price increase there. Give me that. Give me the storm plane shelf. Thank you. Alright, now we go back home. And, uh... You're very busy, I understand. Oh shit, I did- Ooh, we had time to... We had time to hang out. Damn. That is my bad. Oh well, we have a bunch of stress, so... Yeah, I can get rid of all the stress by going to sleep early. But, uh, let's customize and put my stuff down here. It was my bad, I wasn't paying as much attention to, uh... That as I should have. So, there we go, we got a new shelf. Wonderful. I can go to sleep and get rid of all of my stress. My potions... Uh, yeah, you're not done, and you're not done. There we go. Alrighty, so now we just go to sleep. Huh, things are getting hectic. Okay, so, nai nai. So, all of our stress will be gone. Can admit her education comes in handy at times. Yeah. Damn right it does. Running out of time! Running out of time. It's gonna be a productive day, it sort of has to be. No, don't come into my shop! Hello, I see you beat the morning rush. Oh my gosh, oh wow, I know you. And I know you. Hello, Sylvia. Our pets allowed. May here is my constant companion. Merp. Of course that's alright. Uh, can I interest you in a potion? Wait, that was a stupid question, never mind. Please, don't trouble yourself. I just wanted to drop in and introduce myself. The competition was too frenzied for conversation. And for reasons I don't understand, they had me judging a soap-making contest right after the potions portion. Gave Baptiste a niche. 
The soap making was not so riveting, but I was intrigued by what I saw when you were at the podium. You got talent, Sylvia, that much is obvious. Wow, thank you, from you that means a lot. I don't normally geek out like this, but I studied some of your work in college. The application of thermodynamic principles to elemental resistance potions is legendary. Well, now I'm the one who's honored. You've no idea how tiresome it is to be famous for all the wrong reasons. I've got to be going, but thank you, Sylvia, for making my day a little brighter. And good luck out there, yeah? Wow, that was really something, wasn't it? One of his fangirls, are you? I wouldn't say that, but he's kind of a big deal in potion-making circles. His potions are supposed to be the very best, not that I've ever been able to afford one. And his success is even more impressive when you consider what he went through as a kid. Meh. Meh? Really? Wow, you're hard to impress. You realize Robin was there when Maven the Witch Queen was defeated, right? He was just a little kid, conscripted by a group of veteran heroes. And yet he survived. He's the only one who walked away from that battle. I always assumed his survival was a fluke. He got lucky, and then he decided to milk his situation for all it's worth, leveraging his fame to make his potion seem more prestigious. His prices are absurd, and people pay them. Also, he's not that handsome. Who said he was handsome? What's that got to do with anything? I, I'm just- I'm just saying he's overrated. Stop hounding me! <laughs> fine, fine. Let's just drop it. Uncle got a thing for Robin. Lizard was weird though, right? Don't get me started about the lizard. Him, Robin and his stupid sexy face and potions. <laughs> Corsac's Subtle Slay. Okay, we'll look at all these next time. I gotta end this episode, so hope you enjoy the extra long one today. I'll see you next time for some more.